pick. Waz on the assassination rogue. Just, I don't think he can go toe to toe with Blizzo on the Windwalker monk in this matchup. Very curious that Wildcard Gaming just mix it up in the blind. We have not seen this matchup really, so still is possible for Method Black to find victory here, but we do expect on paper Wildcard Gaming to have the advantage. Blizzo shut down early here by that stun incoming from Swapsy. Looney gets gripped into the fight, into a kidney shot. Triple pressure from Waz, likely playing that Flying Daggers build. Potentially an opportunity to just tear away at the entire team, but Waz is still under fire. As you said, he's the most vulnerable target on Method Black. Trades out Feint, able to reduce some pressure. Looney's got way of the crane. He's ready to dig in for a kill. Gladiator's Maledicts have been activated. Chaz denies with Iron Bark. Good cooldown management in this opening stage, not overlapping the anti-magic shield with Iron Bark. Both members of Method Black stabilize and now look to counterattack. Yeah, full kidney shot onto Looney into a bash. Good backup by Chaz. Looney forced to use not only his fortifying brew as well as the life cocoon. And you can see Swapsy, he realizes Looney has basically nothing left. He's trying to pressure him down, but Waz can't get there just yet for a kidney shot. Vendetta was rolling, so I think it was a fair trade from Looney. He still has his trinket available, his transcendence now with full blind. Looney, what is he gonna do? Oh. This is actually getting really low. Might have to trade out his touch of karma, and he does. Looney sits through that entire blind with no follow-up sap coming in from Waz. That was great denial by Zipai. Got the asphyxiate stun onto Waz, denying that follow-up CC of the sap. All car gaming start to build an advantage in terms of cooldowns, but right now momentum may be in favor of Method Black. As I say that, Chaz gripped into a double stun. Waz falls behind. He needs to retreat away from the fight using that maneuverability on her talent, trying to sprint and avoid attack. Zipai now getting chopped up a tad bit here early on. Mana is even on both sides. Still very close to call who is actually going to be able to take this. Blizzo gets bursted. Fortified Elixir soaks up some hits. Looney's casting out the Soothing Mist. Trying to play more mana efficient. Try and hold on to any potential cast of heals. Waz Shadow steps over. Sneaky interrupt by Waz. But he has no way to counter the way of the crane. The kidney shots it, but it's already stabilized Blizzo quite effectively. Chaz gets gripped into the fight. Wildcard Gaming are trying to split some pressure onto him as well. We have seen Restoration Druids fall over to the Windwalker Death Knight setup. See if they decide to stay on target. Chaz gets Ring of Peace back in the fight. Swaps, he stalls it with a stun on Blizzo. And now Chaz appears to have been able to get away to safety, although still crowd controlled. Waz likely to be the target, so he preempts the attack by activating Feint, but they did not go for the stun just yet. They're switching their attention to Looney. Both of these teams bouncing around to different targets and trying to throw each other for a loop and force a mistake, but no mistakes just yet. Yeah, Chaz getting targeted down as he leaps away. Z5, Blizzo still gonna be all over him. Chaz could be in some trouble. Waz and Swaps are gonna have to help him out. There's really not too much left for Chaz. There's the Asphyxiate stun, he has no trick, but unfortunately it was diminishing return. Big blunder there by Zipai, and Chaz does manage to escape for now because of it. But he gets gripped back, chains of ice. He moves towards Waz. Double leg sweep attempt there by Looney, but unfortunately doesn't land onto Chaz, and Chaz recovers. Blizzo, Zipai connect on Waz. Mana in favor now of Wildcard Gaming, although Waz has his defensive cooldowns available. It's basically a reset on defensive cooldowns aside from Chaz. Could be another swap opportunity to go after Chaz if Zipai can get in range and death grip him into the fight. Chaz needs to be ready for that. Waz is still just taking huge hits in midfield. Not sure how much longer he can take this with the Abomination out. Waz tries to shatter step away, but gets gripped back into the fight. Ring of Peace protecting Looney from the attacks of Swapsy. He's pinned around the corner. Looney then escapes to safety. Good teamwork there, but in the meantime, Chaz has sat down. Didn't manage to get much. Waz now in a stun and pressured. No Iron Bark for 12. Needs to rely on just Feint. Chaz is still crowd controlled. Swapsy is now dipping low. Pressure continues to build in favor of Wildcard Gaming. Definitely Looney in a growth silence. He's going to be using his Fortifying Brew to avoid some of this incoming damage. Waz just can't reconnect. Good pressure though on a Blizzo in the meantime. He's caught into an Asphyxiate Sun. And surprisingly, this composition from Method Black, they have been able to get quite a lot done. Wildcard Gaming has been pressured. The main target seems to be Waz for Wildcard Gaming, but he's been doing a good job trying to just range and use the fan of Knives to avoid damage as much as he can. Whereas Swapsy, he's going to be a difficult target to take down, at least at this point in the game. Let's see what they can get done here. They've got a significant lead, but Blizzo gets stunned. What is the response? He's opting to sit through it. Activates Touch of Karma, but this was prior to Venom. Trades out everything. Fuse Magic, Fortified Elixir, Touch of Karma. That is definitely not looking too hot for Wildcard Gaming with Vendetta coming up in nine seconds should Waz make it to that point. 
He's not running smoke bombs, so no opportunity for that, but much more just consistent pressure. This flying Daggers build could pay off potentially if Looney moves in. They go for the kidney shot. They've got Vendetta. Waz Invasion's the incoming Fist of Fury. Gladiator. Lizzo! Lizzo! Huge damage. He gets Arsenal's Vortex on the Transcendence portal away. Will he be able to stabilize? Looney connects some heals. Manages to keep him in a fight. Chaz with an amazing Ursula's Vortex there. Waz still has Vendetta. Yeah, Blizzo, he's in a lot of trouble as well. Caught in midfield and he hasn't relayed his transcendence, so this is going to be a nightmare for Blizzo. If he gets caught again, in the meantime, Watch Cloud Gaming, they're deciding they're going after Swapsy. They don't want to deal with Waz anymore. He's been too difficult to take down. And Swapsy could just easily fall. Chaz throws in the Iron Bark to make him a little bit more durable. In the meantime, Blizzo taking quite a bit of damage. Can Method Black reverse the pressure on the Blizzo. Like I said, his transcendence is in midfield. He can't really portal away. And Waz is looking to close out the game. Can he get the damage that he needs? Blizzo with Turbo Fist denies the damage for now. Z5 grips Waz back. Blizzo in the Ring of Peace should be able to live. He ports in midfield. And Swapsy and Waz are still right on top of him. Yeah, portal mistakes again. Could cost a game here. Blizzo's got a touch of death rolling. He looks to counterattack. Swapsy's preparing for it, just trying to avoid him with the Chains of Ice and Death Striking away. Blizzo gets stunned up. Looney denies the kill with that Life Cocoon, but they've actually shredded through it. Mana is almost completely tapped on both sides. Feels like it could be anyone's match. Waz currently in trouble, but Blizzo equally so. Waz comes out of the stun. They grip Chaz into the fight, trying to create disruption in multiple locations. Seapai is still getting cleaved down. Looney's totally tapped on mana at this point. Lizzo needs to get that Transcendence into a better location so that he can avoid the attacks later on. Looney's totally tapped. He's caught into a stun. Cannot use Touch of Karma. And Method Black take game number one. I shouldn't, I shouldn't question these compositions that I craft in my mind. <laughs> hey, this this looks solid. It will take Tolveron with Wildcard Gaming bringing this interesting composition yet again. I'm really curious about how this map pick is going to backfire, or if it's going to backfire, because uh, <laughs> I, I think it might, uh, as you might be able to good. tell. I'm kind of curious uh, to see how they lose. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of curious to see, but honestly, uh, I have to disagree with uh, what you said there a little bit, Van. I think they're going to be going after Morrow and, and play a, a little bit more of a slower strategy where they're essentially just trying to keep Morrow uh, out of that Moonkin form and in that bear form that we see him in currently, and uh, Method Black, they're kind of just staying back right now. Uh, just, uh, I think they're 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 completely happy with playing it out slowly. <laughs> Look at Morrow and Looney just sitting in bear form right now. It's the bear necessities for wild card gaming. <laughs> Method Black, what are they gonna do? Raku just sitting very far away. He's actually he's playing Night Elf and he doesn't have a water elemental, so he's just using the Shadow Meld to sit in stealth. And I think what Method Black is going to be looking to do is, I think what you said is true. They might just go after Morrow for a big all-in attempt and dampening. Right now, no one on Wildcard Gaming can see anybody on Method Black. I'm kind of curious exactly if they decide to go for an eye push. So grab the spectral sites that do end up uh, spawning on either side of the map a little bit later on in the game. Try to knock them out. And I think as soon as Raikou gets out, these shenanigans will end. Yeah, but... Um does Shadow Melt's cooldown trigger when you leave Shadow Melt or when you use it? I'm actually not sure. I'm pretty sure it triggers when you actually press the button. Here's an even trickier question about Night Elves. Is it day or night right now? <laughs> we like to joke that Night Elves, uh, they get a little bit of crit at certain times during the day and a little bit of haste at certain times I mean, That's not even night. a joke. That's just fact. That's actually how it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we like to joke about okay, that, okay? Enough. It's not a joke that that happens, but yeah. Uh, I was going to say, during the duel tournament, Waz, he actually implemented the strategy where he just waited till 60-70% dampening and then looked for an all-in push on the Elemental Shaman to try to end up getting a win. Looks like Method Black, they've sort of been forced now to actually get a little bit aggressive here. Kidney shot into Cyclone onto z -Bi, but no. Method Black, they're completely comfortable just running away at this point. Now look at Riker, the sneaky little ninja. He actually is playing the Water Elemental. He just didn't summon it so he could sit in that uh, in that Shadow Mode. And the reason why they're doing this is actually because the more they play out the match, obviously the team that's going to be on the back foot if they stay out in the open too much is going to be Method Black, who has is going to be getting kited a lot. So they want to be playing this matchup close to Pillars. Chaz doing a nice fake cast there on that Solar Beam, and they are going Going after Zipai right now, gonna be cycloning up Zipai, who has potentially could be looking for a restyle. And they're gonna be playing it out slowly here, uh, just waiting up for dampening. Basically, Looney 
He's going to be able to drink as much as he wants. Chas, however, he's going to have a tough time getting those drinks due to that starfall. So, yeah, conserving his mana and actually just staying back until dampening gets into the game when that assassination rogue is really going to be powerful, that's going to be key for them. Yeah, Meta Black, they've actually lost the last two finals they played against Wildcard Gaming in Cup number four and Cup number five. And Meta Black, they're also super close today to getting eliminated by Change My Mind. So that is not the position Meta Black wants to be in. And you can tell they're serious, bringing in new compositions in the blind pick, picking up the first win, and now really trying to play to their advantage in game number two. They're not messing around. They want the momentum moving into the land tournament. We all know I'm not the strongest at math, but when it's visual, it's a little bit easier for me. And if you, you made a graph right now, and you, you know the graphs that go up or down, whether you're doing good or bad, I don't know what people use them for. It, it, you would see both of these players, both of these teams at a very high level on that graph, but the trajectory for wildcard gaming has been up and up and up and up throughout this season, and Method Black has been plateauing, going down, plateauing, going down. They're trying to get that trajectory back up. They're trying to make this a buyer's market. Let's see if they can do that. Yeah, we see a Cyclone thrown out on tomorrow. It's not going to matter too much that Riker committed the Frozen Orb. Right now, Method Black's goal is to get the dampening as quickly as possible. They are playing against two hybrids and a Restituid, so there's a lot of healing on the side of Wildcard Gaming, and they just simply don't want to be expending too much mana before they feel like they actually have that kill pressure. We see another Kidney Shot on tomorrow, and then Waz, as soon as he's used that Kidney Shot, he's going to go back, actually using his uh, Shadow Melt there to get a stuff and now we see a maledict uh, onto Raikou but he's going to be able to brush that off Chaz coming in with a nice dispel and the incarnation of Maro is going to get blinded up that should tell you if anything what uh, Method Black's game plan is yeah definitely we'll have to see exactly how that plays out Maro now into a sap they're just trying to stall it out as long as possible like Zika was saying dampening has just kicked in and for me what is the magic moment in the match where Method Black really can make that all-in push? Right now, they've committed no offense whatsoever. They're trying to stall it out through this incarnation. Chaz's mana still looking completely fine. And uh, that's one of the problems, like we talked about, for Method Black. Last card gaming, they have so much hybrid off-healing on their team, trying to push through the defense of the Moonkin, of the Elemental Shaman. They feel it like it's the, in their best advantage to just wait, because eventually, the single target pressure the Assassination Rogue brings with the Wound Poison reducing healing is difficult to heal through. And I think Luna's going to struggle, especially with Raikou having the empowered spell steal, the kleptomania to remove all of those magic heal over time effects from the target instantaneously. Uh, I think is, ooh. Yeah, Wah is definitely getting a little bit low there, trading out the Cloak of Shadows. Is Chaz going to be able to keep him alive? Yes. And that's actually, Waz is playing quite aggressive at this point. Chaz and Raikou still positioning very far away. They're allowing Waz to move in, but Waz commits the smoke bomb as well as his Cloak of Shadows. No Vanish available. And I think at this point, Method Black's going to have to play a little bit more defensive or at least choose if they want to be more offensive or more um, uh, aggressive. Ooh. There's the first setup here from Method Black, landing a nice cheap shot, cheap onto Looney. We see a little bit of pressure onto z -Pi. They're looking to get that Astral Shift. Shasta not able to find the Cyclone. z as well with that Fire Elemental is going to be able to shut down Waz's Stunlock attempt there and leave a gap in that crowd control chain. Now Looney moving forward, trying to land a crowd control of his own. We're going to be denied from Raikou though, and we're going to be back at this kind of stalemate position. Waz going to be looking for another kill. Kidney shot, and you can see Zipai's HP is actually going down quite a bit at this point. They're trying to get to that 20, maybe 30% dampening mark before they really can commit an all in. That's because of the map. Well, hey, look, they, they managed to get a crisp cross crowd control scenario set up on the side of the Rogue Mage. Zipai, yeah, he's taking a little bit of pressure, but he's also held on to his wall. When you look over on the side of Waz, look at this crazy pressure that Zipai was able to get just a few, and now he's going to be able to do it again. These lightning lassos keep taking so much and a lot of the time that's backed up by Morrow as well sometimes he's getting that little baby incarnation he gets so much pressure going so much more pressure than other boomkins can get and now he's just 14 seconds away from one of his big pushes he tries to use them as much as possible trying to fully maximize Waz going to instantly come in with some pressure here he's popping the bandana can he pull z -Pi's wall he needs to do it here but Looney going to be able to trade out without a problem that iron bark going to be used when Morrow now is the scariest man on this map Definitely Morrow going to be looking to get really aggressive with that incarnation at some point. Luna gets interrupted. Good denial there by Raikou as they're looking to make a push on a Z5. But Waz into the what? dash could just fall. Lightning Lasso finishes it up. 
Waz does manage to get his trinket as well as the Cloak of Shadows off to survive, but a beautiful Cyclone by Morrow. That was a baby Denies card. the heals. There it is. Bash on the Chaz. Does he get the Cyclone? He found it. Waz has to vanish off. And once again, at the Black Waz, he's used all his defensive tools to survive. Now getting aggressive is going to be really difficult. Yeah, I think Waz is definitely going to be staying in stealth now for as long as he can. Uh, trying to stall out that Cloak of Shadows. Never mind. He's going to go in. There's a nice Garot Cyclone. Sheep shot sheep. Beautiful denial there from Morrow. Uh, getting Raikou uh, in a Cyclone. Making sure that he can't land that crowd control here. And now we're going to see again Chess swapping up his positioning on the map. Morrow though activating that incarnation. Waz could be in big, big trouble. Nice blind here on tomorrow doesn't have his trinket available that should surely shut it down does he have a shadow melt he does have the shadow oh. melt sap as well to deny that incarnation damage raikou though doesn't get that ring of frost nice wind chair from z -Pi. oh my goodness yeah all that pressure that morrow got in that last setup that was off an arcane pulser that was an arcane pulser incarnation then he goes into the big one waz is ready he responds he's able to get him into the blind he gets the sap that sets up some crowd control on the side of method black but it's not enough to take any defensive cooldowns. As far as script is concerned, Wildcard Gaming is going to be very happy. We know that Method Black can get into the late game. Mana is going to be very important, and Morrow can stop drinks from Chaz. Yeah, and you can see Looney, he's positioned just so far away at this point in the game where he can comfortably sit down and get drinks, but this is when Method Black, they need to get aggressive and punish the fact that Looney is just wasting time trying to recover his mana. That's when they can really start pulling a lot of defensive cooldowns from Morrow. He trades out his Trinket, sells Barsk and renewal but now wildcard gaming establish a mana lead once again chaz at around 40 percent really hasn't had much of an opportunity to sneak away finally in cap form looking for the stealth but looney moves in trying to deny the best he can but chaz he's going straight to full mana yeah, oh, actually, no, he's not. <laughs> this is the strategy that I kind of like to see from uh, Method Black going after Morrow, but this was a crucial thing that just happened. Waz used his Cloak of Shadows, swapped to the other side of the pillar, and Morrow actually got a damage over time effect on him. Waz is going to be cornered here, realizing that he's in a tough situation. Shadow steps back into the open. Uh, correct move from him to make here. Morrow now stuck in a kidney shot. Raikou with the icy veins, polymorphing up Zipai Shas, looking for the cycle. Man wow! Doesn't find it, and a huge burst. He's going to net wildcard gaming Raikou's ice block. They were ahead before they even had the swap opportunity. Now you're going to see the lasso. It's going to go on to Raikou. A cheeky little beam going to be placed down. The cold snap does go off. Raikou going to have that security of a second ice block, but Waz still a juicy target to just tear on into. As you can see, the pressure melting once again. No cloak of shadows. Morrow is a freak of nature. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I agree with that, but he's doing quite a bit of damage. Causing the good a, kind uh, of freak. Of okay, the good one. All right, there you go. Bash on the loony. Morrow still getting pressure down, and this is what we were talking about. If Method Black can force Morrow into bear form in this matchup, it's going to be really difficult for him to get any sort of counter pressure. It's going to be all up to Zipai looking for a lightning lasso. Waz with a nice drive by interrupt with that kick onto that lightning lasso. Freeze up the Raikou. Morrow still low. Iron Bark looking to deny from Looney, but at 40% dampening, what can he really do? There's the full kidney shot. Waz trying to take him down. That's the Black. They just need one more crowd control chain, but they may have ran out of time. Chaz completely tapped on mana. Yeah, and right now Waz is a potential kill target for wildcard gaming goes for that restep around the pillar and now morrow does have his incarnation active Whoa. Riker taking a huge hit forced into that ice block again just no mana left in the tank was and Riker both potential kill targets now we see was getting cloned up i'm not sure if i agree with that cyclone there yeah i mean wasting the lightning lasso just a little bit but at this point method black what can they really do was he's completely uh low on health you see chaz completely out of mana there's a full kidney shot as they may look to make an offensive push now at this point in the game but was is just so exposed raikou with no ice box for another four minutes he has to be careful zipai is ready to go with a lot of damage raikou trying to keep was alive with the polymorph spam but it might just be too much damage was does get the cloak of shadows but that is the last line of defense was forced to retreat chaz looking for a drink is he going to be able to get any mana here? Looney pushing in with the nice Vortex. But Chaz, he recovered 50% of his mana. If they can catch up, things are going to be looking good for Method Black. Yeah, and they had to invest the Cloak of Shadows there to actually get that drink. But now, Morrow is a big, big pressure point for Method Black. Riker could fall. Waz could fall. They're going to go after z though. No trinket available. Smoke Bomb gets dropped. Maledict's coming in. Could they take him down here? 
I don't know. z still just so low, holding on to his Astral Shift. Can you believe these greedy plays? He's so low. Looney just <laughs> refuses to overlap defensive cooldowns. Waz can't believe it as he pushes forward, looking for some sort of crowd control using his Vanish. What is he going to be able to find? There's the cheap shot on the Looney. Raiko Frost across on tomorrow. Nicely done. Kidney shot on the z but in the meantime, Raikou also getting low. He's at a nice position right now, but there's just no healing. Eventually, z will fall. It'd be a cross kill if Chas can get in position. It is unlikely, as it looks like Wildcard Gaming looking to make a push, but I just doubt at this point Marl will be able to get it done. And Method Black, they're showing they're here to play up 2-0 to zero in the Grand Finals. You have z in a position where I think he hit wall once in pretty much the entirety of the takedown to DK row. These two teams are nothing but outstanding here on hook points. The grand final for the European region. This is the last, the final, the sixth cup of the spring season. Winner take all moving forward to the spring finals later this year. It's the last time we'll see these teams go head to head until that finale. Looney blinded up, early aggression from Method Black. Blizzo trying to avoid this incoming assault. Looney holding out and playing greedy with his Gladiator's Medallion. Greedy move may cost him. I think it ends up looking fine though there. Decent trade as long as Blizzo can keep staving off this aggression. We are going to see Chaz and CC for just a little bit of time here, but no real pressure coming in from Wildcard Gaming just yet, see. Yeah, and Looney actually able to hold on to that cooldown because the Vendetta wasn't committed. And I think that uh, what Method Black wants to do is eventually go after Looney, but because of the way he's been playing it, he's making it very difficult for them. He's very much aware of it, holding on to every single cooldown, even activating his way of the crane over that life cocoon, anticipating the swap. And now you can see Waz is looking to build up that pressure. Nice triple Beautiful. leg sweep here. And Looney transcends away behind the pillar. You see a swap onto Shaz. This could be a big healer race, Sid. Yeah, healer race on hook point. This thing could be over quite quickly as Chaz manages to escape back behind the wall. Waz gets ring a piece away from Looney. Waz shadow steps in to land an interrupt. Looney retreats, but now susceptible to a death grip potentially as we see them close in on wow. Looney pre-life cocoons, expecting the stun from Waz. But now Blizzo is left open. He's low on health. The pressure from Method Black is still mounting. Looney gets interrupted once again. Perfect interrupt chain from Method Black, although this leg sweep has stalling out their pressure just long enough for Looney to connect some soothing miss. Desperately to recover. Huge damage. Stun lock. Blizzo. Is Touch of Karma going to be necessary? They're trying to hold out on it as long as possible. Looney gets gri gripped into another swap. Method Black really turning up the heat. Nice transcendence from Looney. Should be able to keep him alive. Waz doesn't have that sprint with the maneuverability, so he's not going to be able to chase him down for now. Looney should be able to recover. And like you said, Blizzard's hold on to his Touch of Karma. This is looking very, very well for Wildcard Gaming. You can see the mana lead is already starting to come up. And Looney gets kidney shot on his way of the crane. This spells trouble for them, Sid. Ooh, they got the Gladiator's Medallion. He's still low on health. Stunned up. Silenced, way the crane was stabilized, but now blind becomes a huge opportunity for Method Black to find victory. However, that mana advantage that the Mistweaver will gain, denying the Druid from drinking, is establishing itself. Method Black basically have to kill Looney before Chaz runs out of mana. They got a lot there. That was off the back of Waz's Vendetta. The question is, will Method Black be able to establish any more pressure? We are going to see looking at Looney yet again here. He doesn't have anything to work with for the next couple of seconds. Now he's gotten to the bash. There, very short DR. Looney still going to be that target, but he gets away. Going to stabilize. Swapsy and Waz have looked healthy the entirety of this matchup, but they are gunning for Looney. Yeah, and I want to see Blizzo forced in a situation. Oh, this is good for Method Black. Blizzo just uses Touch of Karma, so now there's going to be a window where they can blind up Looney, sap him, and go after Blizzo. The only good thing for Blizzo right now is that he still has his trinket available. He's going to have to do some good usage with that trinket. Now we see it. Kidney shot onto Blizzo. They force out the trinket. The next kidney shot on Blizzo could potentially close out the entire game. We're going to see Looney get death gripped him immediately. She torpedoes away. Swapsy with good pet control is going to interrupt him, and they're looking to build up some pressure onto Looney. We could see the blind happen any moment here. A nice and preemptive life cocoon should be able to stabilize him for now. Looney definitely playing heads up now, knowing that that blind threat could happen at any moment. At any moment, Waz can end this game. Although, if they don't pull the trigger in the next 30 seconds, they'll lose the opportunity. 30 seconds to pull it off. Waz, can you do it? Move to match point and potentially 4-0 wild card gaming after being 3-0'd earlier in the day. Looney gets stunned. 
Walls looks like he's moving in position for a blind. There's the blind. Blizzard's not ready. He gets caught into a stun. He needs some backup. Is anyone going to be able to save him? Multiple gladiators, Maledix. They need more crowd control. Where was the sub? They didn't have to vanish. They needed to make sure that they had the perfect chain. Maybe it doesn't matter. Blizzard's oh. just getting crushed under the weight of raw pressure. And just to retreat back to center field, catch a couple heals. Ring of Peace should deny the reconnect potentially from Waz, but Gladiator's Maledict again. Way of the Crane. Looney bounces back. Waz's attempt to nail this game is now lost. The crowd control chain was dropped. Yeah, and Blizzard now has his touch of karma available. The matchup has completely reset here, and in, it's in favor of Wildcard Gaming once again. Looney's going to be caught up in that asphyxiated stun, but he should be fine for now. He can't easily top up uh, Blizzard with that life cocoon. He's going to go ahead and activate it there. Nice dispel as well on that healing uh, reduction from Waz. Blizzard should recover here with the Turbo Fist as well. And now Chaz is completely tapped out of mana. He's not going to be able to drink at all in this match. And Looney still has a little bit left to work with. And now we see another kidney shot attempt onto Blizzo. He should be fine, though. He still has his touch of karma. Might have to activate it, and he does. It's just nutty the way that that happens, though, as well. Waz gets his vendetta right at the end of that CC chain while Blizzo's taking the most pressure ever. z though, going to be able to get him in the chains. He can't make his way over. Swapsy now going to take a little bit of pressure, but all of the sudden, everything's back on script for Wildcard Gaming. They can easily oh. take, turn this one around. Ooh, that grapple weapon denying the death strikes of Swapsy. Chaz is totally tapped up meta. Wildcard Gaming are overwhelming method Black hair, crowd control secured, Swapsy likely to fall, and will Wildcard Gaming strike back in game number three? Hopefully not too late overall in the series. These teams are so evenly matched. Yeah, I, it looked like it was kind of like one of those circles of, of maybe a 60 to 40, but still that rock, paper, scissors type feel to it. Now that the players have learned more and more about what BFA has in store for them, that has just turned into one of the most complicated webs ever. And you're looking at the two best teams that have traversed that web like genius little spiders, spiders Wild Card Gaming and Method Black going head to head yet again. Genius little spiders. Very creepy analogy, but all right. Blizzo and Zipai get stunned up. Big aggression from Method Black early on. No cooldowns exchanged just yet. Diffuse magic to remove the Gladiator's Maledict. Instant response by Blizzo. Looney gets caught in a polymorph, and this is the disadvantage that Wildcard Gaming bring in this matchup with the Mistweaver so susceptible to the mage crowd control, and Raikou continues the chain. We need to break it up before Chaz gets a Cyclone. Chaz jumps in. Bashes, where's the denial on the Cyclone? No one's there, they get the Cyclone. Blizzo has to exchange Touch of Karma. Now down two vital defensive cooldowns. Method Black looks solid so far in game four. Yeah, Method Black, they haven't used anything. You can see Raikou still has Icy Veins. Touch of Death for Waz available. Now Blizzo's looking to reverse the pressure. Finally trying to push through some of these defensives that Method Black have, but the thing is, Chaz with the Iron Bark, Raikou with the Temporal Shield, are gonna be able to completely shut down what Blizzo was trying to set up. Wild Card Gaming, unfortunately, not really able to get anything rolling. Let's see, they've got Way of the Crane, but at this point, I think Blizzo should focus on surviving. He needs to be ready. There's Icy Veins and there's Touch of Death, and he doesn't have anything. He's preemptively activated the Fortified Elixir right before the incoming Leg Sweep. That was a nice read, but they still commit Life Cocoon as well. Another major defensive cooldown. There's still no Touch of Death, no Icy Veins. Method Black have a huge punch straight to Blizzo's face if he's not ready for it. Yeah, Blizzo could be in a lot of trouble because of that, although he still has his trinket, his gladiator's medallion, if he needs it to break out of any potential stun lock that Waz has for him. You can see Blizzo, he's actually opted to play Gnome Windwalker Monk, so in order to get a little bit more uptime onto Raikou, break a bit more of those roots, he's going to be playing that Gnome Racial for Escape Artist, which I think isn't necessarily a bad choice, but I don't know if I completely agree with it just yet, as it does make him more susceptible to the stuns that Waz has, and I wonder what's more important in this matchup, Blizzo just staying alive long enough, or having the uptime that he needs. Oh. I guess we'll have to find out. He's in damage on Raikou, Chaz is actually low on mana. The opening that Method Black had is now over, with Icy Veins and Touch of Death blown through. Blizzo's defense available, things are now starting to go in favor of Wildcard Gaming, and in this best of seven, we've already played Tolveron, then we're going to play Asha mains, and Method Black won't have these large maps to fall back on should they want to try and counteract. And we may end up just seeing the Rogue Death Knight into Windwalker Death Knight for the rest of the series should that occur, which would be a little bit devastating for Method Black. I think Wildcard Gaming do have the advantage in that matchup. Good response by Raikou here. Temporal Shield immediately healing it back to full. However, overlapped with Chaz's Iron Bark, which means he could be susceptible to an attack. 
Z5 crowd control. Chaz gets denied on the drink by the Ring of Peace, but Looney had to overextend and now expose himself to a polymorph. Waz capitalized with a leg sweep. Z5 holds out and avoids it. Now he stuns him on his fist of fury. Good denial by Z Pi. They survived that attack, although exchanging touch of karma, maybe unnecessarily. Yeah, trading out the touch of karma. Blizzard wasn't in that much trouble in that situation. Looney, what is he gonna do? Chaz moving forward, looking for some power control. You can see Wildcard Gaming, they still have the mana lead in this matchup. Chaz, at some point, he's gonna have to try to sneak away and get a drink off if he wants to recover that very precious mana. Was looking for a paralysis onto Looney, into a bash, into a cyclone. Good CC here from Method Black. Blizzo, what are you gonna do? He's in some trouble. He does have Touch of Death rolling onto Raikou, but there's great counter pressure from Method Black. Are they gonna be able to take Blizzo down? Looney does have Life Cocoon. He's able to connect some heals, and it looks like Wildcard Gaming will stabilize, but a little bit of a scary moment there for Blizzo. Yep, Blizzo with another close call. Looney, though, with the mana advantage and less Chaz. It's a drink. It's off in the kitty corner. Pinned against the wall, actually. Maybe an opportunity. Tries to jump out of the corner. Manages to make it out of there. Ring of Peace sometimes pretty hilarious. Blizzo what free. Corner? Life cocoon. Life cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> Life cocooned by Luke. They actually cut right through it. Blizzo in a bit of trouble. Yeah, Blizzo definitely could be a little bit scared, but he does have the touch of karma rolling up in around eight seconds. And that will be enough for him to survive the next setup unless there's a lot of damage coming in from Waz. Hey, so I know I'm not as high rated as you guys, but what does, just, just for any of the people who came in from StarCraft who might not play as much, what does Kikorned mean in World of Warcraft? I know that all of you top players are, are calling it out all the time, Sid. Uh, what's a Kikorning? A Kikorning. I, I can't even come up with something creative off that. Is there something I'm missing? Even Blizzo doesn't know how to react to getting Kikorn. You can see he needs to pop a defensive cooldown here. Looney going to be caught up in that crowd control. Waznow going to be getting the brunt of that pressure. A nice double leg sweep going to go out as well. How will Waz navigate out of this? Uh, I'm not sure. He might have to trade out his touch of karma, and he ultimately does. Gladiator safeguard procs that little bit of added defense. Keeps him alive and buys him enough time to get off that vital defensive cooldown. Now Method Black looking to get aggressive. Double leg sweep coming in from Waz. Blizzo and Zipa could be in a little bit of trouble as you see Blizzard. There's no Frozen Orb committed just yet by Raikou, but this is his icy veins, and he's not really getting too much done. I think what Method Black was looking to do is try to distract Waz Card Gaming, allowing Chaz to go for a drink, and it worked. Chaz sat down, recovered a lot of his mana by sitting down and drinking away on that precious water from Raikou. And now actually has a lead in terms of mana. All right, Blizzo with limited defense could be a vulnerability for Wildcard Gaming as we step deeper into dampening. I'm curious to see if Meta Black switch targets as well. We do see Death Knights become vulnerable in the deep stages of dampening as well. So let's see what they can get done here. They set themselves up on a good map, good comp advantage, but even still, Wildcard Gaming battle back against that. An uphill battle, but still one that they can achieve. And that's why these teams are so evenly matched. Waz being pressured, Blizzo equally so, Ooh. but it's gonna be a dance with death. Waz portals, but where is Chaz? He's stunned, he trinkets. Uh-oh. Marks a very low health, that may not even be enough. Waz stabilizes now. Blizzo could be in danger. The life cocoon is faded. Looney is still crowd controlled, although dropped the chain. Chaz jumps in to try and continue it. Is managed to get the cyclone. Blizzo not able to get in position to deny it. Raikou cycloned up though, denying any sort of reconnect of damage, and I believe that was stolen by Z Pi, so using it defensively, trying to stall out the game and potentially win on mana is the tactic that Wildcard Gaming are looking to implement. Yeah, Blizzo taking quite a bit of damage, and there's no defensive cooldowns really left for him. Where is this transcendence once again? He's left it in the middle of the map. If Blizzo falls because of that, it's going to be a disaster. Raikou, though, getting low. A lot of pressure here from Wildcard Gaming. Chaz struggling to recover, finally topping off Raikou. This mana is not looking great, though, compared to Looney. Chaz falling behind, and he's ultimately probably going to have to go and sit down for a drink at some point in the match if he wants to be on par with Looney. We're at 15% dampening. Things are going to start getting really intense for both these teams. Yeah, we're getting that critical mass, the magic number, the 4-0% here in between Wildcard Gaming and Method Black. Mana still even, still anyone's match at this point. Although Method Black with the lead look to try and establish more points overall in their European region to potentially qualify to BlizzCon or the World Finals later this year off points alone. Blizzo in trouble. They could advance to match point here and now. Raikou can land this polymorph, not able to find it just yet onto Looney as Blizzo is hiding for his life right now. 
Will he be able to stabilize? Looney's afraid of a counter spell. Trying to connect some soothing miss. If Raikou blinks in line of sight, this could just be it. Five seconds away from Touch of Karma. Not finding the counter spell. Pressure is still just mounting. Lizzo has been in trouble start to finish. Looks like Wildcard Gaming are going for a bit of a swap to Chaz. Trying to catch him off guard. Then he gets crowd controlled. Touch of, uh, Touch of Karma exchanges. Lizzo recovers quite easily. Chaz still falling behind. Potentially wildcard gaming overwhelm him, but they need to stay alive as well as they try to do it. Uh-oh. Chaz is getting really low. He get, gets interrupted. Blizzo and Zipai are all over him. What is Waz going to do? Bring a piece looking to deny the kill. Chaz sitting through the protection of that green barrier. While that's placed down on the ground, Zipai and Blizzo won't be able to move in it. It's a very powerful defensive that the Monk has available, that ring of peace. Now that it's faded, Chaz could be vulnerable once again. He's already used his bark skin, already used his gladiator's medallion, so he won't be able to break out of stuns on command. Iron bark been tossed out onto Waz as well, and now Chaz is really vulnerable. I really want to see Blizzo, Zephi try to make their way over to Chaz, start getting some damage rolling. Let's see if they can do it. Looney gets swapped to Method Black are mixing it up. Double stun lock combo. Looks solid here, and Method Black advance to match point. Catching Looney off guard, and now they're down three games in a row. Just about seven seconds until that life cocoon was going on dollar and sewers. Perhaps they can do it. Earlier today, Wildcard Gaming just smashed Method Black in the upper final, but now Method Black with the happy little accidents cleave has managed to climb back in this We're series not it and that. move to match point. Yes, we are. All right, we'll have to see what Method Black can get done with this composition. We kind of talked about Looney theoretically has the mana advantage when it comes down to Mistweaver and Restoration Druid from Chaz. Already, Blizzo taking a little bit of pressure early on. Looney activating the Way of the Crane to put a lot more damage out onto Swapsy. And I think if Wildcard Gaming learned anything about this matchup on Hook Point, it's that they should probably be putting more attention, more pressure onto Swapsy as opposed to Waz. Oh, beautiful portal from Looney escaping to safety right as Waz shadow stepped. Definitely tell Looney is experienced and probably the best Mistweaver monk going to the spring finals, even between North America and Europe. Blizzo trying to counterattack, but this is Vendetta. And Method Black seem unafraid to go all out on Looney. It may just be a race to kill him here. They're already up so many points in the series. They can afford to take these types of risks. Chaz with an immediate wild charge on that death grip. Sick reaction time, avoiding getting gripped into a stun. Beautifully timed. Waz is using that death from above to reconnect to Looney. An interesting talent choice from Waz. And I do expect them to continue to tunnel down Looney. Although they are splitting some pressure on Blizzo and having damage on two targets is quite devastating. This is match point for Wildcard Gaming. And they're falling behind. That Cloak of Shadows gets used by Waz. He doesn't have evasion. He could be in some trouble. Might have to trade out his Vanish. That would be disastrous. He'd have no defensive cooldowns left to really rotate through. Looking at mana, Chaz just a little bit behind at this point. Blizzo under pressure, though. Waz. Good damage on the Waz. What is he going to do? He has Faint. He has Vanish. Just trying to tank through some of that damage with the reduction of Faint. Should be enough as he makes his way back on top of Looney. Looney rolls away with Cheat Torpedo. Now Waz is left all alone. Shadow Step Kidney Shot onto Blizzo. Trying to create some pressure. Blizzo dips low. They still have Life Cocoon, though. Waz, he's in trouble. Wildcard Gaming are starting to come back in this fight. Immediate recovery, huge heal from Chaz. Chaz needs to drink. He is starting to sneak away. Blizzo is in trouble. Is he gonna be able to survive full blind? Looney is comfortable to sit through that. That's not, that, this does not look too comfortable. Waz tried to pre-death uh, from above on Blizzo's transcendence portal, but wasn't able to find that. Now instead, double stunned. Blizzo needs, is on the run, but he's far away from Looney. They're separated across the entire battlefield. Uh -oh. This could easily be it. Looney is still crowd controlled, desperately trying to connect the heal. Life Cocoon right in the nick of time. Swapsy now being pressured. Yeah, Blizzo could be in a lot of trouble. Swapsy in the meantime getting low. Anti-Magic Shell. Iron Bark gets traded out by Method Black. This is match point for Method Black. If they win this, they win this tournament. Wildcard Gaming going to be holding on and looking to continue this fight. Now full kidney shot secured by Waz on the Looney with Vendetta. He gets low. Is he going to have any backup? Unfortunately, no. Swapsy does grip him back. Waz trying to reconnect right now. Do they have the damage? Looney really doesn't have too many cooldowns. Beautiful transcendence getting out of line of sight. Pops himself off. And now Meta Black have to turn their attention elsewhere. Hey Chaz, what's your mana situation? Because it's not that good. Blizzard down at half, although with touch of death rolling, is trying to build momentum for the team. 
They're going after Swapsy, who has decided to run Lichborn, and that seems to be the talent of choice for Death Knights when facing Windwalker Death Knight. It rotates efficiently with Iron Bark and Life Cocoon on the healers of Restoration Druid and Mistweaver, but now that its defense has faded, there's an eight-second window of time for Wildcard Gaming to slip through and potentially take a win. Way the Crane gets activated at a huge cost of mana, but potentially enough damage to find a kill. And he's desperately trying to create momentum for the team. Chaz has Innervate active. He gets a ton of free healing. Now stunned on it. Good stun timing by z -Pi. Swapsy goes down to half, but with enough runic power banked up, has more than enough to death strike. Looney trying to retreat away. Method Black continue their advance on both Looney and Blizzo simultaneously. And, I mean, eventually Looney's going to make a mistake. How can he keep up perfect play throughout? Ursul's Vortex trying to catch Looney on his transcendence. Not going to find it. Life Cocoon stabilizes, but now no longer available for Blizzo. In the meantime, Wildcard Gaming set up triple crowd control with pressure on both Swapsy and Waz. Both teams mixing it up and trying to make difficult decisions for the enemy healers to make with pressure in multiple places. Something's got to give. Oh, blind on Looney. Blizzo, what are you going to do? He ports away. Beautiful transcendence location. Looney trying to connect some heals the best he can in a great position to do so. Garot silence on the Blizzo. Bash on the Looney. Method Black looking to close out the series. Blizzo trinkets out. He's still trying to kite, trying to get away, trying to survive. Getting pressure now onto Chaz. Chaz gets caught into the sun. He trinkets out. Bark's getting used. If z and Blizzo can stay on top of Chaz, he's going to be in so much trouble. Beautiful Leaf manages to escape just a little bit longer. Shadow Meld on one of the Gladiators, Maledict, but now it's Death Grip back into the fight. Touch of Karma gets traded out by Blizzo onto the Kidney Shot, and beautifully done by Wildcard Gaming, reversing the pressure onto Chaz, and I don't think Chaz is going to be able to get out of this alive. Wild Charge back up to the upper platform. Russell's Vortex buys a couple of seconds. He's totally tapped on mana. Blizzo, though, with no defense. Could be vulnerable. Looney overextends. Almost gets cycloned. Chaz tries to sit down for a drink while Looney is stunned. Then moves into cyclone under the stun instead. Blizzo dips slow. Looney denies it. Both the healers completely out of mana as dampening has begun. Looney is interrupted, but Waz is now low on health. He's got Vendetta rolling. Touch of death. Both sides in trouble. Chaz caught in a stun lock. Could easily just explode here in game number five. And Chaz goes down. Wildcard Gaming stay alive in the tournament. And they're going to keep on trucking. And the big thing of Warcraft has to offer it's all led up to this moment with two teams that have been dominant forces in EU in Method Black and Wildcard Gaming. Method Black trying to prove that they can still be that number one team, though. They don't want to be second best. They want to prove that they are the best team that the EU will be sending to the biggest tournament of this season. Waz initiates the attack with a cheap shot. Sounds on z -Pi, but z -Pi immediately repositions on the opposite side of the tombstone, counter-aggressing with that lightning lasso. Soaked up by the spell lock of Swapsy. And the one thing with the composition that Wildcard Gaming are playing is they actually don't have a lot of consistent interrupts. When you're facing a Destruction Warlock, Chaos Bolt's very important to stop. How do you stop that? Consistent interrupts. You're, this composition doesn't have that, so Swapsy will be raining down tons of damage in this, which is why it makes sense for him to be attempting the Destruction Warlock. So let's see how Wildcard, Wildcard Gaming decide to play around that threat. Yeah, we'll definitely have to see. Swapsy is going to be a huge threat on that Destruction Warlock. A lot of damage available, but z has been doing a really good job in these matchups so far, making sure he's shutting down all the casters. It's going to be up to him to land really good grounding totems and wind cheers, but that can be so difficult when you're caught into a kidney shot. We see z he's playing really defensive right now, having to run away. Waz looking to reconnect. Nice lightning lasso from z unfortunately wasn't full. Waz manages to land a Shadow Step after a Thunderstorm. Now full kidney shot onto z -Pi. Looney with no trinket. Ops to use his life cocoon, and right now, Method Black appears to be in the driver's seat. This composition is working out great for them. Ooh, beautiful Cyclone on the defensive cooldowns of z -Pi. Looney needs to get ready to heal him back up right after that. Trying to fake cast a spell lock. Looney fake cast a spell lock of Swapsy. Now the threat has been thwarted off of nice play on Looney's part. However, there's really no defense left for z -Pi, so the next kidney shot could be devastating. Love to see Method Black just push forward, secure crowd control on both members, z -Pi and Looney, and end this. They can easily do so. Morrow's really the only one who stands in their way. They need to make sure they interrupt Cyclones when they make this push. Looney and z -Pi know that this next attack is going to be huge. They're trying to prepare for it. Chaz jumps in, looks for a Cyclone on Morrow, trying to deny him from stalling this out. Maybe a swap onto Looney actually initiated. Immediate Shadow Step, but z -Pi shuts it down immediately, although overlapped a tad bit with that cyclone would have maybe have not liked to have seen the cyclone in that position could have been an opportunity to actually kill Waz. so they stay alive but unfortunately they could have actually counterattacked at the same time and lose an opportunity 
Yep, Swapsy still, and can actually use three Chaos Bolts there on Morrow. Unfortunately, not able to find too much damage. Looting with the way of the crane is going to be able to heal up his entire team. Waz actually in a little bit of trouble. He has Faint rolling, Cloak of Shadows and Evasion available. Is he going to have to use them? It looks like Line of Sight should be enough for now, and Chaz has enough time to actually top him off. Now Lightning Lasso onto Swapsy. Good control coming in from Wildcard Gaming. Cyclone onto Waz. Swapsy kind of left all alone in this position. He's actually getting bursted down. And if we look at mana, things are not looking good here for Method Black. Chaz already around 50% mana. Looney almost completely full. And I don't know. I'm starting to doubt this composition Method Black has selected. All right, Morrow stunned up. It looks like Method Black are switching up their targeting, trying to catch Wildcard Gaming off guard. But that is a very difficult thing to do when facing a healer of the caliber that Looney is. Double Mortal Coil into blind. Good setup. Looney denies it. Solar Beam from Morrow breaks up some of the damage as well. Vendetta coming off cooldown. Infernals could be, are going to be available. And Looney has no Gladiator's Medallion. I want to see Method Black make another swap to Looney. Try and get some crowd control on the Z-Pi and Morrow to stop them from stalling their assault. He is likely to be the easiest target at this moment in time to kill. See how Looney handles the pressure. Morrow actually the target here for now. As they're trying to stall out this incarnation. I do believe it's an Arcanic Pulsar, so not going to be lasting too long. Completely denied by the kidney shot. Looney rolls in, but he rolls next to Waz. Curious to see if Waz wants to make a swap. I'm really surprised to not see them switch over to Looney. Just in case some, some people haven't actually played Moonkin yet, could you hit him with that, the flex of knowledge right now and let him know exactly how Arcanic Pulsar does operate? After you cast, I believe it is nine star surges, you get incarnation for a small amount of time. You can throw your opponents off guard or potentially force cooldowns in that window. And then when your main incarnation becomes available, you can then look for a kill or vice versa. You can also use it to extend the duration of your main incarnation by an extra few seconds. And that is the main game plan for Morrow so far. I would like to see more setups. I feel like Waz is, should be the target for wildcard gaming, but they seem happy just focusing down Swapsy. See both Chaz and Swapsy crowd control during Ironbark's defense. Good stall by Wildcard Gaming. Mana now in favor of Method Black. It's not looking too good for Wildcard Gaming as they are on match point. If they lose this or the next game, they will be going home in second. And it's very important as these teams are so evenly matched and have basically the same amount of points and close to it, which means if it comes down to it at the end of the year to qualify for the World Finals, and it's based off points between these two teams, this series alone could decide that lead. So there's a lot on the line moving into the future in this series between these teams. Yep, Morrow now into a kitty shot. We are entering dampening. How much mana does Chaz have? He's been managing to hold on to it quite nicely. Hex secured onto Swaps. He's got a lot of offensive capability right now, rolling with that Dark Soul. Keep in mind his positioning. Is he going to be able to get any casts off? Looking for some incinerates. Now a big Chaos Bolt. Morrow shuts it down quite easily with that Solar Beam. Now it's Swapsy who's on the back foot just a little bit. z and Morrow have just been able to put out so much pressure all day on this Moonkin Elemental Shaman composition. But Chaz heals up Swapsy. Method Black looking healthy. And now it's Morrow on the back foot. All right, Morrow. Huge burst. Looney denies the kill. Dampening has set in here on match point for Method Black. And they have been developing momentum throughout the fight, and it's looking better and better for them. Wildcard Gaming need a trump card if they want to pull this off and move to a game seven. Morrow gets bursted. In trouble, Swapsy gets bursted. Equally so, Lightning Lasso gets denied by Waz. Good teamwork. Perfect denial. Morrow feared away. Buying Chaz time to breathe and stabilize, but even still having a rough time. This is not looking too good for Method Black. Swapsy had to trade out a lot of his defensive cooldowns there. That exchange in Morrow in the next minute and 40 seconds, he's going to have that incarnation rolling once again, and Swapsy doesn't really have a good answer. Chaz is going to have to make sure he holds on to a lot of mana, as well as Iron Bark if he wants to survive that assault. Now are now at 11% dampening. Boss has a lot of offensive capability coming up soon with that Vendetta. Now full kitten shot secured on his e fi Looney shuts it down immediately with the Life Cocoon. Slowly but surely, both teams running through their defensive cooldowns. Things could become scary. I feel like Swapsy right now is probably the best target for Wildcard Gaming to go after. Boss has a lot of cooldowns still with the Cloak of Shadows, with the Vanish to keep himself alive. You can see Looney just chasing down Chaz. He doesn't want to let him drink. He knows that they can just extend the game. Both healers don't drink. Theoretically, the Mistweaver should have the advantage, but 
Chaz has been doing a really good job. This could be the last time that we see these teams go head to head. You do not want to go anywhere as Method Black are on match point and looking to assert dominance in the European region. Infernals have landed. Swapsy is ramping. Zipai knocks him away to buy a couple of seconds to try and recover. But even one Chaos Bolt at 16% dampening could close this fight. Looney gets crowd controlled on the way of the crane. They don't have any follow up. Waz gets cycloned at low health. Zipai makes a fair exchange of the astral shift for the Infernals. But now Vendetta available. Waz could be on point here to close this game out single-handedly. Spellock instantly on the lightning lasso. That threat is now out of the way, and it is go time for Method Black here shortly. It is go time. Kidney shot on the Z-Pi. No astral shift available, but Lumi still has so many defensives he can rotate through. Waz getting bursted down. Could be in some trouble. Chaz has to play catch up at this point in the game. Faint trades out to try to keep Waz alive. Chaz in a full cyclone, good control coming in from Maro. Swapsy looking for a spell reflect, looking for some fears. Interrupts Maro's cyclone. Zipai caught into a fear. Waz all over him. Is he going to be able to take him down? He has a vendetta, but Swapsy gets caught in the crossfire. Huge damage by Maro and Zipai. And Wild Card Gaming tie this series up. Here we go into a game seven. Method Black in such a great. The question is, will Method Black be able to navigate their way out of a hairy situation? They had this one by the rain, <laughs> and now it's on the razor's edge, all down to game number seven, Method Black versus Wild Card Gaming. Either team just needs to shave off one more point to take the entire tournament. These teams have been so evenly matched throughout tournament play, and they've brought in basically every single archetype available in the game, and I could have never guessed that it would have come down to Boomkin Elemental, Missweave, facing Rogue Mage Druid, having seen the way that the meta has played out, but with these teams being so evenly matched and bringing so much to the competition, this is what we get, and it's going to be a treat. Both teams a little bit reluctant to get things going. Yeah, Waz sitting in stealth. He's going to be sharpening up his razor blades before he moves in and gets aggressive onto Wild Card Gaming. Who are they going to go after? We know Method Black, they're not afraid to just sit and wait, wait till dampening, and that will be their advantage. I think it was around 50% <laughs> dampening where eventually Chaz, Raikou, and Waz were able to take down z so that might be the number we see again. The longer we wait, the longer Rich's mustache grows and the more devastating it's going to be when <laughs> it has to be ultimately shaved off. Looney gets attacked early on from Method Black. Trying to catch him off guard. Get him! Looney is, <laughs> Looney is not a healer that you are likely to catch off guard, but Waz is going for it. Yeah, but unfortunately, Raikou is nowhere to be found, and I just think it's so unlikely that Waz can take down Looney. Now finally in a good position, getting shut down. Maro and z have been owning Raikou so far. A lot of control. Finally a full KD shot. What is Raikou going to be able to get done? Looking for an Ebon Bolt. Gets it off. Big damage on the Looney. But off heals coming in from z -Fi. Looney might have to portal away. He doesn't have the transcendence for another 15 seconds. Life Cocoon buys him enough time to survive. If Wildcard Gaming lose this, Rich's mustache is cursed. <laughs> Anytime we bet against the stash, it always gets protected. It always Pretty wins. They're going to change the dampening icon. So as we get deeper into dampening, a stash just grows out of that sword. Could you imagine? <laughs> it get longer and longer. All right. Good damage now onto Raikou. Method Black wasn't able to stall as long as they really wanted to. And once again, this is just going to be one of those matchups where Wildcard Gaming, they're going to be looking to deny damage for as long as possible. Morrow and Zipai, they have to do a good job with control in the matchup. Stop Raikou's crowd control, stop Raikou's damage. And if they can pull that off, they might be able to stall for quite a bit of time. You can see there's a full blind sap on tomorrow. And once again, Waz is going to be looking to deny as long as he possibly can. And uh, it's looking good. So much tension in this game that the game is beginning to shake here between Wildcard Gaming and Method Black. The last time we're going to see them battle it out to, qual or to make it to the land later this year where they will then face North America to decide who is the best internationally and who will take the first spot to the World Finals. These two teams are looking to be the teams to beat for North America moving forward and just for the world in general. z -Pi the target of choice here for Method Black as they continue switching it up. Yeah, and let's see what they can get done. Method Black, we did see them go after z -Pi. Like we kind of said, that was the all-in pressure point that they had available. Mar was actually a great target for them to go on if they can shut him down, force him into bear form, and will really limit his ability to get out cyclones and damage. So 
potentially Method Black will turn their attention there because I think it's really unlikely z ends up falling in this matchup till late dampening. So I think if they're going to be looking for a stall based strategy, just go off tomorrow. But no, they're just looking for crowd control. And this is what I'm talking about. Wildcard Gaming, they're much more susceptible to an all in. z getting really low life. Cocoon finally lands from Looney on z but it's overlapped with the Astral Shift. And this is looking <laughs> good for Method Black. Anytime Wildcard Gaming dips low health, Rich starts panicking. He's literally standing on his seat right now. He does not want to have to shave that pressure. No, mustache. I want, I want Wild Card Gaming to not come out on top now. Yeah. I, I met, met That's what yeah, you were yeah. cheering. Was yeah, yeah, and now it's Piggy. There's not much left, but I guess Looney's chilling. A couple soothing mists out there. Z5 restabilizes. Icy Veins available for Raikou. Curious to see where he decides to place that. Chaz is doing a great job managing his mana as Looney on the Mistweaver is likely to outdo him. Morrow in trouble. Was equally so. That's the Gladiator's Medallion. Not during incarnation. Waz is vulnerable almost as much as Rish's mustache now. Yep, it's gonna be a little bit scary here for Waz, but he still has to cloak the shadows and vanish, and that's one thing Waz always does a great job of is he doesn't overlap his defensives. He always has something left to survive. Such a high level rogue in these tournaments. Now full kidney shot secured onto Zipai. What is Raikou gonna be able to do? Because like I said, I don't think Waz at this point in the game is gonna be able to solo down z -Bi. They really need a good coordinated effort, but with the way Looney's positioning so far away in the matchup, it's really difficult for Raikou, Ch Chaz, and Waz to push in, get the control they need, because I, I feel like if they don't get that control, it's gonna be really difficult for them to actually close out the game. All right, let's see what they can get done. Dampening has entered the fray. Both teams equal on cooldowns and mana. As things continue underway, Looney portals away to avoid crowd control in that starting room, utilizing the map effectively, but they left Morrow behind. Waz is trying to punish, go after him. Raikou can't support as he's hexed up. Chaz still needs to do a perfect job with his mana. We do see a Lightning Lasso incarnation, but likely the Arcanic Pulsar. How much damage can they do? Looney and a Polymorph. This is a great time for Method Black to close this series out. Where's the damage? They have the crowd control. It's just absolutely zero damage. Yep, z is going to be able to easily shake off that last attempt there by Method Black. Now Waz getting a little bit low mana in favor of Wildcard Gaming. Looney Trinkets out of the blind. Now susceptible to a Polymorph. Full bash Waz. on the Waz. Can he get the Cloak of Shadows off? I believe he should be able to tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious! Wild Card Gaming once again, unexpected burst damage. Morrow, Zipai, and Looney are just on fire. Honestly, I feel like they're the most dominant team we've seen in the whole world. I mean, we can talk about Europe and North America till we're blue in the face, which team's gonna win, but to me, Wild Card Gaming right now, they just have the diversity, and like we kind of talked about, Looney. Happening, Method Black, 640 points, and Feed versus the fake Zebras, we're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered, in the middle of history, the longest series that has ever been played in battle for Azeroth.